these days. I just don't have the time to sink, sink in. Well, that much time to sink into the game. Me saying that while I sink like 300 hours in Warband on stream alone. You know? Well, aren't, aren't all MMO games a grinder? More or less? The losses. Jesus Christ. You know, funnily enough, I don't play that many of games. Uh, I play... Well, Ben Lord on stream. I, okay, this time I'm not gonna get stuck. Uh, Age of, I don't think I'm going to be playing Age of Empires. Bro, maybe later on. I kind of like playing all the games, all the titles, because I have an RX 580, so I can't run all the modern titles. And plus, there's so many games I didn't, you know, finish back in the day. I, I did get, I think, some like two or three days while I didn't have the internet a couple of days ago into under on the rail, which is pretty fucking hard, if I say so myself. And I didn't like get the yeah, RTX 580, and I didn't get to like the mid game. I just basically exited the uh, tutorial, more or less. <laughs> yeah, the dedication. <laughs> yep. <laughs> What else do I play? I, I did. I don't. I do want to play Oblivion again. That's for sure because I never played through it, or any Elder Scrolls, Elder Scrolls for that matter, or Fallout game. Like I just kind of always uh, like play them for a little bit, for a couple of days, then just got you know distracted by something else and never play them again. So I do want to like finish them. Well, uh, Oblivion, Fallout 3, and Fallout New Vegas, that's for sure. Oh, you're so happy to see me. You fucking idiot. You cost us a lot of good men. Look at that. <laughs> I did play Diablo 2 back in the day. I know the remaster is out now. I don't, I don't feel like... Paying Activision for the game, though. <laughs> no, no, not not yet not on a not on the full price definitely let's pick all these up Jeez, look look at fucking that uh, you should definitely see like a couple of well you're gonna see if you watch the videos or like skim through them what, because I do upload all these onto YouTube at a higher quality. Uh, there is a couple of... Uh, like w at the beginning of this campaign, or this playthrough, you run into an enemy, and she's like happy to see you, like a smile on their face and all that, and then you tell them you're like, know, you know, uh, surrender or die, or whatever the fucking option is to attack them. They just go well, like a frowny face, then they're mad. <laughs> it's fucking funny to see, literally. Get disappointed. Okay, now let's see how much we're gonna get from donating the prisoners. Oh, well, I streamed to both. So, either one. I streamed to YouTube, Twitch, DLive. We just got a. Med J followed on Twitch. Uh, YouTube, Twitch, DLive, and Trovo. I was gonna stream to Facebook too, but... For some reason, they have a different kind of RTMP server and I can't figure it out anymore. I don't wanna waste time figuring it out. 
I did have an affiliate on Twitch at some point though. Then I didn't stream for half a year or something like that and I told them to like remove my affiliate status. Yeah, we do. Why, dude? Facebook is great. Facebook has the best advertising platform on all the interwebs. You can target people specifically, which is fucking serving and good at the same time. Well, the YouTube channel is there basically for wads, more or less. Which, you know, I had... I don't play the games that that much anymore. So when I do, I do usually stream them. Not all of the games I do play, though. Like, sometimes I do play Battlefield 1. I don't stream that. Because that would be just me getting pissed off at fucking campers and snipers in the back. And my team just doing fuck all and all the medics getting past you and doing nothing and so on. I actually lost. Carrying capacity, I don't know how. Let's actually grab all the horses. This is more or less just like a hobby. You know, I can stream, so why not? why not do it, you know? And I can practice my English, in the meantime. Oh yeah, yeah, I did make... I did make the channel, the Twitch channel on Warband, more or less. And I'm definitely gonna play the other mods too. I just hope they get updated, you know? So I don't have to downgrade to a very, very fucking old version of the game. Well, thank you. Let's see, what the fuck do we do now? I kind of want to grab it for myself and I don't at the same time. Like, better that than this over here, right? Warhammer 3, uh, it's still a while till it gets out. I might be playing Medieval 2. Yeah, the best soundtrack ever. I might be playing Medieval 2 though, or Shogun 2. Or like I said, Fallout Oblivion. Soon enough. I am playing a Dark Souls 3 Cinders. I do have a Dark Souls 3 Cinders mod playthrough going what else do i have on in plan i do like to play hades that's for sure that's one of the best games made in the past i don't know how many fucking years tournaments uh, i mean neither of these seem that useful We don't need stewardship. Alright, we have a problem. One of the towns is gonna revolt. It's gonna be a pain in the ass. Do have a... One attribute point per level thing. So I can level up faster. Because usually it takes a fucking long time. How do I put a point into? I guess in riding or endurance. Jesus Christ, we got. Damn, the AI is still fucking dumb in this game. Dumb as bricks. And we have this guy in front of us who's gonna wipe us all out. Ha 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 
I don't want it though. And I did. I think I did try to like trade with one of the lords for a, you know, a different city. And I had to give all the fucking. Wait, did I do it? Was it for that? Oh yeah, I did watch a video on that. I do want to play through Skyrim first too. That's the only problem with those games. It it just takes a lot, a long fucking time. Like I just uh, launched uh, Oblivion a couple of days ago, and I was like, for two days. Well, I don't know how much time it was, but like let's say eight hours. I didn't even get to the first like city thing where you're supposed to get with the. Amulet of the Kings or whatever the whatever it's called. It was just dungeon diving more or less. Decline. No fucking freedom for you. Or well, if it's short, I might do it first then. But isn't it harder? I know there's a mod for uh, Oblivion, right? Which is I think only in German. And it's fucking hard as balls. It's real fucking difficult to get past through. I didn't want this. I wanted uh, the dungeon. Alright, we don't have prisoners. Refresh the policies. What you mean these? I mean some of these are decent. Oh, you mean the Skyrim mod, right? There is the there is a there is one of those good mods for the for Fallout New Vegas right, which I have to get have to look at too. Oh, you should definitely give it a try if you didn't play since release. There's a shitload of more stuff in it now. Well, it's more fleshed out, I guess. You can see. And I do need to look at these. Some of these are pretty good. Uh, oh, I mean, this is pretty good. I haven't played Vegas. Well, I'm, I'm gonna play it on stream at some point. You could watch, or you can play it yourself. Always better to play it yourself if you can. And it's on sale. It's on sale every couple of months, that's for sure. Only from the mercy, normal clans gain less influence from battles. Gee, is there any one of these that we can propose and we're gonna get? Yeah, maybe I should some mix in some medieval music in too, right? Medieval two music that is. True wages increased by ten percent. No fucking way. Uh Yeah sure this This could help us out. Uh, to make them better look, um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that. But I assume there are some texture packs, that's for sure. Well, it's definitely there. But I'm not doing it for the looks of the game. That much. I mean, I'm, as, like I said, I played fucking all the games. I'm, I played Under Rail, that's 
Well, you've seen other Unreal. It's pixel. It's pixelated. A lot. It's like Fallout 2, basically, or Fallout 1. That's basically it. But made by Serbs. So it's a pain in the ass. <laughs> we can get through the first couple of levels. Town pay the taxes paid to the ruler are reduced by 5%. Oh. Oh shit. Yeah, I need to grab some influence real quick. Because we need that loyalty. That's a that's a definitely definitely the thing we need. Especially for Charas, because it's gonna revolt in a couple of minutes. I do have all these elites laying inside. No ransoms, fuck off. You're a pain in, pain in the ass. Who the fuck leveled up? Come on. The surgeon leveled up, oh no. No, you're correct. I mean, uh, Prophecy of Pandor got an update, which you know, which is you know the best one of the or the one of the best mods in Warband. Got an update as Banlord was coming out, the last one that is. It's not doesn't really matter for this guy since he's not gonna be in the front lines. And in Praetorians. We'll find out in a second. What the fuck are you? You're the steward. Let's see. They did... They did make these... Uh, like before it was more streamlined. So you had the elites. And you had the regular infantry. So I do have some Praetorians. Oh yeah, oh, that would be nasty. Like you just play like in Warband when you get ambushed out of nowhere. You just get uh, fucked up. <laughs> like you get imprisoned. Well, I guess they could make it in here. So if you piss off the Praetorians, you just get stabbed, killed off. Because there is death in this mod in Banlord. You can still you can outright die. So that's why you wanna have children. So you like you can take over as them. Although I'm not quite sure I hadn't I literally haven't played that long. But there are a couple of mods for Warband that do make some pretty interesting quests. And the UI. There is a mod, I think it's Bellum Imperia, Imperial, something like that. Which did add catapults. And Ballistas, Ballistae, into the game. And there's... Well, they were the good bodyguards in the beginning. Afterwards, you had to pay them or, le or less you're gonna be dead, yeah. And there was one other Roman mod which was deleted off of ModDB. I'm not sure where the fuck you can download it now. But I do remember it uh, having like four realms, so it was during the Civil War or something like that. Or was it provinces? I'm not sure. I think... Yeah, there was North, South, East, and West Rome. I'm not sure which time period exactly. But the only the problem in that was uh, you couldn't get companions uh, like the normal way you could w in Warband. You had to like have some special units 
and keep them alive for a really long time then you can befriend them and they actually get a name which was pretty fucking cool i don't know remember which one though or what it's called i think legend of total war has a video on it Uh, that was, was pretty good. You can just search up uh, Legend of Total War and uh, I guess Warband. It's bound to show up some, some, somehow, somewhere. Maybe there is still a version you can download somewhere. Saragoth is under siege. Because, you know, why wouldn't it be? Why wouldn't it be? Right. Did any of my companions die? No, that's a fucking surprise. Well, uh, so many mods, so little time. And you can only play one at a time. Which is a big issue, right? And this ain't a game that, like you can drop in and play a couple of hours and just be done with it. You want to play it, you know, a couple of days at least per, per run. Okay, looks like those two are going to deal with whatever the fuck was there. Fucking shit. Shit. Right, we have the influence for the whatever the fuck I wanted. Right, loyalty. So, what did they... They announced the game in 2000 and what was it, 12, right? And like after a couple of years, they realized people just, you know, really, 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 were really hyped for the game. And they figured out, oh shit, now we have to make it quick, right? <laughs> Not in 20 fucking years. Well, some of the mods, like the Warhammer one, you have to search for the Discord server for it. For the Game of Thrones one, I'm not sure which is the... Uh, like, look up on the next mods, which the latest version is. I mean, uh, the only reason you want to play it in the newest versions of the game is because they had shield... Uh, spear bracing. Spearmen are actually useful against Cav, you know, they can take him out. Imagine that. <laughs> I mean, it's still in early access, like, what, after a year? A year and a half? Something like that, right? This is bad. Fucks up with the garrison. Why? Well, I mean, if they hadn't released it in early access, we wouldn't have it still. I mean, right? Right? I 
I need to make them recruit the units from the template. Nothing else. So I gotta pick up these guys and just... Get them out. Okay, yeah, Realm 2 was shit when it launched, that's for sure. But that's why I don't really buy games, new games at all. Like, I'm gonna, well, Warhammer is gonna be good since, you know, it's, it's basically the same game as before, just, you know, an expansion. But uh, most of the other games, I just wait till they get like half in the, uh, they cut, their prices got get cut in half on a sale or something, then I get it. Because, you know, that until all the patches come out and all the mods come out, I do wonder that did the Darth mod actually make a mod for the remastered version of Total War Realm. Because that one was pretty good. Especially because of the big, bigger map. Although it was a pain in the ass because it places all your units with Astati to get wrecked at the beginning. Let's pick those up so we can span them. Zeras too. I have no fucking idea. So there are already mods for uh, rem the for the rem remastered version. I might actually need to buy it because I didn't get it yet. And you can't play Rome. Oh, right. And you can't play Rome because, uh, you know, it runs like garbage. Even though I have a prize in 3700X, you know, it runs like crap. Which is fucking awful. <laughs> okay, we do need to get rid of these guys. I'm actually surprised they made the mods this quick. I mean, it's it has only been out for what, like two months at this point? Map has been exp well... Oh, didn't the dark mod just... Wait, is the map bigger in that, or is is there just more cities in... Yeah, there's just more settlements in it. Can't remember. I think there's only more cities in it. In that mod. If you play on the Europa, whatever the, the BC is in that. Oh, oh, good. It's finally like increasing. No, 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 not through. Uh, the dark mod 
at one of the bigger maps on it and there was like you know like the scenario there was the uh the, the Carthaginian war with where you had scipio in spain somewhere i think if i remember correctly and you had hannibal at north of italy you know Oh, well, that's gonna be sick then. Imagine all the stuff the models can do now. It doesn't change much, the dark mod. It just makes it kind of harder. You know, um, as per usual, you know? Ooh, look at these guys. Just makes it a bit harder, and uh, the only bad part about is about it is it. Well, I think this is an option actually. You can uh, make it so it changes the unique icons or the you know cards and not, so they can stay the same. But it removes the, like you know red, blue, and green, which is kind of you know. Mm, not really enjoyable if you play the old version of the game. So is is there a, a workshop on Steam for it, or do you have to like download the mods from like another place? Chivalry two mod to Rome. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh god damn it. I do remember you know for some reason I like playing chivalry, the counter strike or wait a minute, no. Like the source mod. I like playing the old one more than the new ones. Oh my god, thank god there's a workshop. I don't know why they didn't implement the workshop for uh Battle Lord yet. That's what Saves so much freaking time, man. You get to remind me to check that all, all that all that out. Oh, one of them escaped. Never mind. Not an issue. Oh, fuck off. I'll, you know what? I'll search it up once I get the game. How about that? Because otherwise, there's no point. <laughs> I mean, I can't play him if I don't have him, right? And I think of the scene room uh, remastered on a sale. Okay, or you can just go into the guild server and just uh, place it there. Or you, can, or, or you can just go on one of the videos that are out now. And just post it on there. Because I'm gonna unlist this, then I might forget about it. Because who knows where the fuck am I gonna be tomorrow. I have something planned to get drunk, get drunk off my ass. So who knows what's gonna happen after that. What do I need to build again? Action, orchards, now? Right, the form. Never mind, it's fully built. It's not Discord, man. It's gilded. It's better. <laughs> you get that? It's not Discord. Fuck Discord. I don't like Discord anymore. I always have issues with it. What the fuck don't these guys have half of this stuff? Let's go with loyalty.
I have a Discord, but um, I, I, I have, I'm switched over to Gilad for the Twitch stuff. I just use Gilded, Gilded now when I must. When people don't want to use anything else. Funny thing is we have... Damn it. Right, I have to get out of there so I can see it. Well, basically, Gilad is the only clone. The only good one, at least. I mean, it has... Man, it has forums. It has... It has threads, with all, which the, uh, Discord only has it now. It's so much more shit. It's unbelievable. My question is, how the fuck did they get the garrison so fucking big? I like, no, not the recruits they got inside, but the militia. Look at that. Jesus Christ. I have to lower that. Improved garrison. make it uh, 80 archers and 100 infantry what's up camarade on show and wallet wallet with the heart the AI well I mean the AI always cheats, cheats right Okay, template manager, save current template. And it didn't change. What the fuck? Apply template, yes. Funny thing is, I got this working in the earlier version of the mod I made. Let's turn this off. Could we follow this template? Yeah. Why am I not surprised? Recruit, no, let's turn that off. Let's not recruit prisoners. Because that might be fucking up. Okay, you can... Uh, you can post the links to the YouTube guys. Or mods on there. There, I'll see it for sure. And you can find the links for the mods. On the games I played. And if you want... I did uh, modify a Prophecy of Pandor for Warband. And added the Roman Empire kind of faction into it you might want to check that out <laughs> it is kind of OP but I know you know that's kind of the point right light template Okay, that should work, I think. Yeah, look at those daily wages. Not 2k anymore, right? Well, it is gonna be uh, 1,440 if you get all that. No, don't go to the hall. Okay, 
Okay, let's see how big the army is besieging that. Because these guys are running away from it. Oh, fuck's sake, game. Come on. Yeah, so much for having that, right? How the fuck do I have negative influence? Is it because I lost the castle? Or the city? You know what the worst part is? Yeah, they're going for here. Oh god, I'm gonna... No, I don't have influence, never mind. I don't think I can... I, I can't save it. Well, maybe? Huh, okay. If, if with 500 troops in the city maybe I could defend it maybe depends on how how much siege equipment they build you know what the worst part is they're gonna bypass me and just go for the other one scale weapons can be donated to troops for increased experience what the fuck was this no armor I don't know what the funny thing is. They're just gonna go like f to the castle. No? Amazing. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Are we supposed to have more troops? What the fuck? Okay, this might not go as well as a planned. But it's safe, right? Would be fucking great if all these. Uh, uh. Right. Return. Wait a little bit. Stop moving. Exit. Hopefully we don't get this little bit. Okay, we're good. Yeah, let's join the army. Maybe they man up. Only problem now is... The AI is going to do something stupid with the, with the troops. Oh, the barbarians can win. Can They can win, win easily. So fucking easily. Okay, I'm gonna take the archers. We can so, we can so easily because um, oh my god, they, because the AI doesn't know how to actually control units and then drops around too much, especially when they're on their on your side, as per usual, you know. Now, what the biggest problem is. They're probably gonna send my companions to die, and I do kinda need them for engineering, healing, and uh, scouting. So that's that's the bigger problem at this point. How about I don't listen to him? AI? Well, I mean, the, the, we're never gonna have good AI. But the issue is it's worse than in Warband. Because in Warband, when the AI decides to, like, charge at you, it charges at you. It does, like, charge, lose a couple of men, then run back. 
you know then drop around and just charge back in because every time they go back they turn their backs to the enemy you know And we're gonna see what happens because you know. Then again, you might be able to fix this if you play at uh, you know a thousand man armies, troops on the field. Because when these guys get wrecked, by the time that our allies come here, our archer line is gonna get overrun, probably. Yeah, look at that. Especially if God forbid these actually these guys actually use the shield wall, right? Our plan is to get in range and shower them in missiles, right? We have a f bad fucking plan. So yeah, this rate we're gonna lose. Especially if the infantry is all the way in the back. The skirmish behind the Allies center. It's gonna take a while till we get there. Yeah, that, that's that's the issue. Now, now if if our our AI, yeah, the calming music doesn't help. Power AI stood here and didn't look at that. Oh god, don't turn your backs to the enemy. Look at that, look, look, look. Fucking morons. This is why you want to try and always be in control. Skirmish behind Ally Center. I am behind you. They're breaking through again. It's gonna be a close one. Somehow they made the AI worse, in my opinion. I, I think that's the biggest problem with, for everyone in this game. Because if you go down, and if you don't control all your army, the fucking losses are... It's not that they're bad, they're bullshit. Yeah, stupid. I'm gonna lose all my troops at this point. Well, half of them at least. Yeah, the, at least in Warband you can actually control like where your units go, you know? There is a mod that actually makes it so you can you control one of your dead units after you die because you know that's in multiplayer 
I had to actually try and install it, but it didn't get updated in quite a while. But that's one of those mods that actually might work with all the versions of the, versions of the game. Because that's a mechanic in multiplayer, so they just, you know, make it for single player. In the squad based game type. Where the hell is the infantry line? Jesus Christ. There is a total war camera. I just I mean I have it installed, see? But for some reason, I uh, like a uh, For some reason I can't open it. No, this is this is for the mini map. Maybe you can't have both mods on, I, I don't fucking know, or maybe I... Maybe I disable it. I'm not sure at this point. Because I couldn't get it to work. Skirmish my ass, man. I mean, this is skirmishing, right? Running away from the enemy so you can shoot at them. Look at that. We basically did lose at this point. Yeah, no problem, man. I think my uh, my uh, newly found knowledge of hashtags and descriptions and whatnot actually made it so you can easily find me, right? Yeah, we won the battle because I, because I controlled the archers and stood in the back. Because if the the air has the stupid idea of bringing the archers in front of the infantry when the enemy is right there, you know, when they're on the infantry. Which is a death sentence. He's look, yeah, look at. Not only that, but how many? Let's see. Well, it looks like these are all their guys. That died. Wait a minute. Yeah, they're all there. It's good. Look at that happy little face. <laughs> yeah, but dying a pointless death. Well, a needless death, I guess. Then again, there were a shitload of bad generals in Rome, right? There were pretty some. There were some pretty fucking bad defeats. In Roman history. <laughs> Jesus Christ, like... Almost half my... Lost almost half... Well, I did last... Lost... Lose half my troops. Let's actually get the money. Jesus Christ. Leave the fucking army. Fuck off. Fucking madman. 
Too bad there's another one. What the? Too bad there's... Look at that. We can't even save that right now. Actually, I'm gonna grab the units from here. Maybe try to save it. Let me actually see how many... It's 6044. Let's actually leave them like... Like that many. Let's make the other others archers. Could have gone worse. Loses to siege bombardment have fifty percent chance of getting wounded instead of getting killed. Fifty percent increased chance to recover lethal wounds in siege assaults. 100% chance per day to recover a lame horse. And that's not really good. Definitely, definitely the siege one. Yeah, we definitely have enough to wreck this guy. Uh, well, I think I'm gonna, you know, the problem is because I'm gonna see if there's one up to date. Because if I started ad uh, some other mod, I would need to, like, downgrade the version of the game. Or update it. Then, uh, you know, sw uh, up downgrade and upgrade, upgrade it. Depending on which mod I play, you know. So that might be a pain in the ass. But in theory, it should work. I mean, it sh should work since you're not actually deleting the files for the modules. You just switch the versions of the game. Which isn't that big of an issue. So I might make a new one. I'm probably gonna do the gunpowder mod. Uh, this, uh, the smoke and... What the fuck was it? Smoke and guns, what, right? Oh no, where's my... Shit. Clicked something. M, M for map. Who would have guessed, right? Where the fuck are they? Oh, I see. Camping the hill. Like smart people. Yeah, yeah, fuck off. Fuck off. On How much care we have? Three guys. <laughs> Smoke and blood, is it? Something like that. I show I show them all. I'm probably gonna do that one first. Because that has the leash changes in the, into this. And I think it's like one uh, it, 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 it's for one point six point zero or something like that. So it's gonna work well. And it's a fairly updated version of the game. We wanna go back to one point. 5.5 or something like that. Yeah, thanks, guys. Thank you for watching.